Hi guys, um, welcome to my channel. This is a very special reading. Oh, well, not very. I mean, it is a reading. <laughs> okay. Um, um, with regards to the full moon that we're having. Okay, so I'm not really working on the full moon in Scorpio, but I, uh, you know, um, but I am working with the vibration. Okay, so with this reading, um, my intention that I'm putting for fire sign is the dreams of love. Okay, um. The dream of love in the sense that um, you know there are dreams that are worth risking for so I'm not giving this a sugar-coated reading but this is about a, a reading on um, if I said fire sign this is an intro for all this all these objects okay this reading is based upon on is it worth to stay on this dream or can we move on forward in accept it as it was something that is magical and it was a dream for love for us to love to connect with this person or to whoever that we have okay you know this dream can be like something that we have already resonated with has already happened but we're still dreaming on about it okay um, it can also show us uh you know deeper underlying messages as far as the dream because i'm using the major arcana okay as the crowning energy of the dream or the vision okay because I, i'm not focusing on the dream energy itself because like you know some people don't recall their dream but this is about your 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 um idea of that energy that you're connecting with that person through this cycle of the moon okay so that is gonna be the um intro also and um thank you very much for donating to gofundme and that is one part of our dream <laughs> okay <laughs> of my dream and your dream as well whoever has donated thank you very much and for the membership there is still a promo until the 12 and then so do sign up and i will see you guys there now here it is for each um elements by the zodiac okay okay so this is gonna be for the fire element first okay so we're gonna go in the order of aries leo and sag Thank you very much for watching for this very, very magical energy that we're going to have as a full moon. Oh, it might be crazy, but it might be okay. Okay, let's see. For the Aries, the focus of energy for this full moon. You have here the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, as a energy that you are focusing on for your dream, uh, I'm seeing here, um, it's from what they're saying, <laughs> it's about time. That's the majority of the people that I'm hearing, but from what they're telling me, okay, if you see this uh, energy over here carrying the wheel over here, it's about how strong are you, are, how strong are you with this connection of, with your, your manifesting, with the person that you, uh, that you want? How strong are you? How willing? are you and that is the focus of your energy aries how committed are you to this dream okay as far as this is uh, um the will is turning yes it always does turn but it also mm -hmm, king of wands very fiery okay but it also has its own burden it also has its ups and downs but how strong are you and that is the the message that i'm seeing here first from, from the major arcana so that's what you need to to connect with okay king of wands you can be connecting with another fire sign um or this is you aries uh or you know aries or because it can be a leo or a sagittarius okay but it's also showing here in this dream that you are manifesting you're trying to be more um controlling in the sense of what is owed for you okay what do you really deserve ask yourself that what do you really deserve with this kind of connection um, yep, it's high priestess over here. I always now refer to this as the baptism of fire. There is no fire. But going through this column of direction of vision, okay, can be connecting with a water sign is very intuitive. Or, but you have a queen of swords, queen of pentacles here. I sense a lot of energy of understanding your core with regard to this full moon, Aries. Understanding who you are. Prince of Wands over here. Very um, energy, you know, can be male or female who's watching this, but the female energy is awakened, meaning you are more connected to your emotion, okay, rather than to your action, okay? And that's what the full moon energy is bringing towards you. And together with that is the judgment. A separation, okay, from what was to what will be, okay? That is very, very good for the Aries. 
Very, very good. So that is the focus for for this full moon and what you might be expecting. Now let's move on to the Leos. Okay, Leos, Major Arcana, be focusing. Leos, Major Arcana, focusing. You have here, Hangman, okay. This, you know, in, in the old times, this is a traitor being hanged, but this is now, from what I'm sensing here, looking at things, yes, on a different perspective, on a different scale. Your visions have been open now. You also look at things either big or small, but you have a new concept of life. It's a concept of as much as you can dream, you can dream with regards to relationship and love. As much as you can love, you can love. Okay, it's about opening up. That's what I'm saying here. Opening up with no control, with no ego, with no what, with no um, possessing of the energy. It's allowing other other person's free will. It's aligning yourself with the person's interests also. Okay, that's what I'm sensing here for the Leos, for Pentacles, being grounded and staying true to your power. The chariot can be connecting with a water sign or a cancerian over here, but moving towards a success, uh, moving towards a new direction, finally taking the courage to move, okay? Nine of Cups is happiness, okay? Very nice energy. Um, three of Swords moving towards from a, okay, from a hurt or a change of destiny, okay? Towards a new victory, Six of Wands, okay? You're really coming out. Oh, definitely. You're coming out. There's a party over here. <laughs> might be. Okay. Um, you know, you might be feeling. Okay. A new. It's not just about sugar coating, I guess. Again. Okay. This is a deep energy of sorrow. A deep healing that you need. Okay. Um, but you are coming out of it. Victory is here. Six of Wands, a celebration. And you bring the party, basically. You bring the energy now. You're the one, if this is the Olympics, Leo, you're the one carrying the torch with regards to the direction of love, with regards to com communication. It's really up to you on how to bring it because you have the understanding, again, of a different perspective on how you communicate or how you manifest love. Okay, that is very, very nice for the Leos. Now for the Sag, okay. Our Sag gang is growing in our... Um, uh, how do you call this? In our membership, there's a lot of Sagittarians over there. So hi, Sagis. <laughs> okay. So let's see what's going on. I do have all these placements in different alignments. So Leos, Aries, you know, all special to me. Oh, judgment comes to you, Sag. Okay. The angels over here. Okay. These are very powerful. Um, you know. Um, it is from from what I'm seeing here an awakening that kind of power, um, the universe waking you up, okay, and asking you to come, like, you know, like surface with regards to love. Do not hide anymore. Do not be scared of commitment. You know, they have taken away those energies that you are always scared of. So it is safe for you to love. That's what I'm saying here for the sages. It's safe for you to be vulnerable, okay. It's, you know, the time for, you know, the games that, that Sagis would play sometimes that people don't understand. The game of being just fun and never really committing. It's over. It's time for you to face, you know, the reality that there are people who are going to be there who is not going to hurt you. Okay, Sag? That's what I'm seeing here. But let me see now what is here for you. You have your two of ones. Okay? You're assessing the situation from a distance now. Okay? You're establishing boundaries at the same time. Um, six of Swords over here. There's been a time where you have, um, you know, you have gone through distance about thinking of a past energy. Six of Swords, Six of Cups over here. Okay? Of thinking of you are coming back to an energy. King of Wands. Definitely you have the intention. The intention to come back to someone. A fire sign or a water sign. Um, who has given you so much care, so much love? This is an empress, and it was which was um, which had ended, and it had made you disappointed. Okay, and the final card here is the moon card. Okay, so as far as the full moon can be a Pisces, 
that has disappointed you, that is finally over, that you're just watching from a distance. Or this connection can be also with a fire sign that you're watching from a distance. And has, but however, things has been over and th they're just asking me to cut it and get a card. Okay. Things has been over and it's time to celebrate. It is time for you to be open. This is wholeness. Okay. It's time to be to whole, to be whole. Okay. And the moon card represents here, of course, the dreams that was also. Okay. So thank you very much for the fire signs for watching. And this is your special for this full moon. Bye.